Hello viewers, in this video we are going to solve this question on number basis. We say find the value of x given that 1, 2, 3 to base x is equal to 27 in base 10. So we have to find the value of the unknown. I have 1, 2, 3 in base x equal to 27 in base 10. To find the value of the unknown, I'm going to express this number on the left hand side 1, 2, 3 in base s. I'll express it in base 10. And to do that, I'm going to write each of the digits as a product of its place value. The place value of 3 here is x to the power of 0. The place value of 2 is x to the power of 1. And the place value of 1 is x to the power of 2. Just like we used to do um, 100 tens and units in base 10, the first digit in base 10, for example, if I have, let me just write any random number, 142 in base 10, this digit here is unit, this is tens, and this is 100. So as it applies to base 10, so it's applied to every other base. Here is unit, of course, we know that anything raised to the power of 0 is 1. So x to the power of 0 is unit, which is 1. Then the next digit, which is 10, go here to, for example, 2 here is unit, that is 10 to the power of 0 in base 10. Then the next one is 10 to the power of 1, that is why it is called tens. This is unit, this is tens. The next one is 100, that is 10 to the power of 2. It's exactly the same thing we are doing here. It applies to every other base not only base 10. So, writing each of these digits as a product of its place value, I will have 1 multiplied by x to the power of 2 plus 2 multiplied by x to the power of 1 plus 3 multiplied by x to the power of 0 equal to 27 is already in base 10, so I don't need to express it's in any other thing again. I'm just trying to turn this number on the left hand side to a number in base 10. And the number on the right hand side is already in base 10, which is 27. So we'll write it as 27. Then 1 multiplied by x to the power of 2 is x to the power of 2. Plus 2 multiplied x to the power of 1 is 2x. Plus anything raised to the power of 0 is 1. 3 times 1 is 3, equal to 27. Um, sorry, my plus look like multiplication, because my graphic tablet is a bit turned. Okay, so let me position it well. Now, this is giving us a quadratic equation. So, x squared plus 2x plus 3. I'm taking uh, 7, 27 rather to the other side across the equality is plus 27 when it crosses equality become minus 27 equal to 0 and I have x squared plus 2x 3 minus 27 is minus 24 equal to 0 this is a quadratic equation and to solve this equation we multiply the constant term by the first term, which is x squared multiplied by negative 24, which is negative 24 x squared. Now we look for two factors of negative 24 x squared that can add up to plus 2, that is positive 2. The factors should be 6x and 4x. 6 times 4 is 24. But how do we add 6 and 4 to get? Two. One of them have to be negative. So since we are looking for positive 2, the smaller factor should be negative. Because 6 plus negative 4 is 6 minus 4, which is plus 2. And also when we multiply the factors, we should obtain this very number here, which is negative 24x squared. 6x multiplied by negative 4s is negative 24x squared. So the factors require, in this case, 6x and negative 4x. So the moment we get the factors, we can replace the middle term with the factors so that this equation becomes 
instead of x squared plus 2x, now we substitute the 2x with these factors. So it will be 6, uh, x squared plus 6x minus 4x minus 24 equal to 0. That is my approach of solving quadratic equation. There are several other approach. So here I'm going to group it 2 by 2. I have x squared plus 6x. I'll group it together. Then minus 4x. Because I'm introducing a bracket, this minus has to change to plus 24 equal to 0. So that when we remove the bracket, minus times plus can give us the minus. Okay. What is common in the first bracket? X is common to both of them. So we'll factor it out. X into S plus 6, then minus, on this second one, 4 is common to them. We'll factor it out again. X plus 6. That is 24 divided by 4 is 6, equal to 0. Now we have a common factor X plus C, so we can pick one of them, which is, then we group this and this together. X minus 4 equal to 0. Now X plus 6 equal to 0 or S minus 4 equal to 0. Therefore, S is equal to 0 minus 6 or S equal to 0 plus 4. S therefore 0 minus 6 is negative 6 and 0 plus 4 is positive 4. Now we are dealing with number bases here because it says find the value of x given that 1 to 3 in base x is equal to 27 in base 10. The base of a number cannot be negative. Therefore the only value that satisfies this equation is 4. It says since the base cannot be negative, S is equal to 4. And that brings us to the end of this question on number basis. I hope you found the video useful. If you do, please like the video. Also, subscribe to my channel. So you get notified when I release new content like this. Thank you.